welcome. I welcome you all to this lecture in the course Sandhi in Paninian Grammar. We continue to study the important part of the Sandhi phenomenon in Sanskrit language namely Hal Sandhi or consonant Sandhi. Hal Sandhi refers to the Sandhi that substitutes Hal. Hal is a consonant. We have studied that Hal Sandhi can be classified broadly under two heads Ekasthanika Ekadesha and also Ekasthanika Dvyadesha. Ekasthanika Ekadesha refers to the phenomenon namely one substituent is substituted or replaced by one substitute ek sthani ek adesha and ekasthanika dvyadesha refers to that phenomenon where one substituent is replaced by two substitutes ekasthani dvi adesha currently we are studying ekasthanika ekadesha we also classified Ekasthanika Ekadesha in accordance with the place of the Nimitta or the condition or the environment. It could be Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha as well as Para Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha. This specific division had to be made mainly because of a peculiar usage of the instrumental case used in Halsandhi and we have already studied two such cases namely Shchuna and Shtuna. They do not appear in the Ach Sandhi and therefore even though Ach Sandhi had the Paranimittaka Ekadesha, Ekasthanika Ekadesha, we did not classify it in that particular manner. But in Hal Sandhi, we do it and the main reason is the instrumental case. Currently we are studying Paranimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha, Purva Nimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha was already studied in the previous lectures especially when we studied the sutras Stoho Shchuna Shchuhu as well as Shtuna Shtuhu dealing with the Shchutva Sandhi and also the Shtutva Sandhi. Now we are also studying Paranimittaka Ekasthanika Ekadesha which is diagrammatically represented in this fashion where you have A followed immediately by B, both are in the Samhita mode and so B is the Para Nimitta and when B follows A gets substituted by C. So this is Para Nimitta, this is Eka Sthani and this is Eka Adesha. So Para Nimitta Ka Eka Sthani Ka Eka Adesha. This is what we are studying right now and we are also studying Anuswara Sandhi as well as Parasavarana Sandhi. We have studied this before and we continue in this lecture to study this further. The mainstay of today's lecture is the examples of both these Sandhis. But before going there, it is important for us to take a recap of the meaning of these two Sandhis and the Sutras stating them. Anuswara is being stated by this particular sutra Monusvaraha. This is the first sutra 
stating the anuswara in place of ma we have already studied the meaning of this particular sutra this is 8323 what this sutra means is that immediately before a consonant hali at the end of a pada padasya ma is substituted maha by an anuswara anuswara we have already studied in this connection what is a pada pada is being defined by panini in the sutra 1414 the sutra is suptingantam padam what it means is subanta and tinganta these are the padas and ma coming at the end of a subanta or ma com- coming at the end of the tinganta gi is substituted by an anuswara if this ma is followed by a hal so the example of ma coming at the end of a subanta is ramam and this is ma coming at the end of a subanta am is the sub and so this ramam has got am at the end so this is a subanta similarly apatam and once again you have ma coming at the end of a tinganta this is a tinganta am is the thing and so this is a tinganta and so now when this ma is followed by hal it will be substituted by an anuswara and the output would be anuswara plus hal the example is visible over here we have subantam and tigantam written in this particular fashion where no hal is following subantam that's all and there is no hal following tigantam no hal is following so ma is written as a consonant ma with the proper signs of indicating that it is a consonant but once this ma or this ma is followed by a consonant for example over here pa is a consonant and so this ma at the end of tingantam is substituted by an anuswar suptingantam padam this sutra itself is an example of monuswaraha and then after this anuswara substitution takes place the sutra anuswarasya yai parasavarnaha applies this is 8458 and it has got three padas anuswarasya yai and parasavarnaha anuswarasya is six one of anuswara which means in place of an anuswara yai is seven one of yai yai means all consonants minus ha sh sh and s and parasavarnaha is 1/1 of parasavarna parasavarnaha means the substitute parasavarna so this sutra means immediately before yai that is all consonants minus ha sh sh and s substitute an anuswara by a sound that is homogeneous of the latter that is yai i repeat immediately before yai all consonants minus ha sh sh s this is yai so immediately before yai substitute an anuswara by a sound that is homogeneous of the latter sound that is yai this is an example so if you have an anuswara followed by yai this anuswara will be substituted by a parasavarna parasavarna plus yai so this has to be savarna with yai but we must note that this parasavarna is replacing an anuswara which is a nasal sound so the most close substitution in place of this anuswara would be the nasal parasavarna that is nasal and parasavarna of yai so that's why this first rule is rewritten in this particular fashion so anuswara plus yai is the input 
8458 applies and the output generated is nasal parasavarna plus EI. This sutra takes the anuswara as an input and generates nasal parasavarna as the output. Now arrangement of rules in the Ashtadhyayi in this particular section namely Asiddha section is in accordance with this input output scheme which then means that the output of 8458 cannot become the input for any previous sutra and therefore we can generate forms like Kurvanti which evade the retroflex which comes at 8, 4, 5, 8, 4 and 1. So the output of 8458 is not visible to 841 and so there is no retroflex and we get the form Kurvanti and similar such forms derived by the Paninian grammar. We also stated that there is one more sutra stating optionality. In the previous examples, the Anuswara followed by Yai, this was happening within a Pada, let us say, when the Anuswara is at the end of a Pada, followed by Yai, which is at the beginning of the next Pada, then this nasal Parasavarana substitution is optionally done, which means that optionally you will also have the same input being generated as the output. So Vapadantasya means immediately before yai and yai means all consonants minus h, sh, sh and s. Substitute an anuswara that appears at the end of a pada by a sound that is homogeneous of the latter that is yai optionally. I repeat immediately before yai substitute an anuswara that appears at the end of a pada by a sound that is homogeneous of the latter optionally, do this optionally. So anuswara coming at the end of this pada followed by yai coming at the beginning of this pada, this being the input, the output generated by the application of 8459 is the nasal parasavarana which substitutes the anuswara plus yai or optionally the same that is anuswara at the end of this pada plus yai at the beginning of the second pada. Both these outputs are generated by 8459. After having re-looked at the sutras which are the core part of the Anuswara and Parasavarana Sandhi, let us now study the examples. First let us study the examples where ma comes at the end of a pada and is substituted by an anuswara and then this anuswara is substituted by the parasavarna. So for example here we have sam plus hasati where ma comes at the end of a pada. Sam is a preverb and upasarga and upasarga in Paninian grammar it is considered as a separate pada. And so this ma comes at the end of a separate pada followed by hasati at the beginning of which comes a consonant h. So we have some hasati. Now this ma will be substituted by an anuswara as an output. So we have some hasati. This will be the output generated by 8323 some hasati. Now since h is not part of yai, there is no parasavarana substitution taking place of this anuswara. So some hasati remains some hasati. Then we have some yatate. All these examples of ma coming at the end of a pada are taken of the preverb sam or upasarga sam. So sam plus yatate and here comes at the beginning of this pada, so this is hal and so now this ma 
will be substituted by an anuswara like this some which is an anuswara some yatate now because this is a yai this anuswara will be substituted by the nasal parasavarna the nasal parasavarna of y is anunasika y sai plus yatate so some yatate will then become the input for anuswarasya yai parasavarna 8458 and also va padantasya because this is anuswara is at the end of a pad so va padantasya 8459 and the output generated would be sai yatate this is one output and the second output optionally would be the same sam yatate similar is the case with sam plus vartate ma at the end of a pad followed by a consonant v so this ma gets substituted by an anuswara by the application of 8323 and you get the output sam vartate then 8459 applies and substitutes this anuswara by the nasal parasavarna that is nasal v so we have sam and vartate and this is optionally done so we also have sam and vartate both these forms are generated sam vartate and sam vartate then we have sam sam plus lupyate once again ma at the end of a pad followed by a consonant hal and so 84 so 8323 applies and substitute this ma by an anuswara sam and lupyate and then vapadantasya 8459 applies and substitutes this anuswara by the nasal parasavarna optionally so you have sam lupyate and optionally also sam lupyate so both these forms will be generated by vapadantasya similarly we have sam plus ranadhi ma at the end of a pad r at the beginning of this second pad r is a hal and so 8323 applies and substitutes this ma by an anuswara so we have sam and ranadhi and so this will be the output since r does not have a nasal variety there wouldn't be any further substitution process taking place over here so there is no substitution you don't substitute this anuswara by na because na is could be the parasavarna comes very close but that does not happen because r does not have a nasal variety now we are following the order stated in the pratyahara sutras we have looked at examples where the second pad beginning begins with h y v and r so far we continue following the same order of consonants presented in the pratyahara sutras so the next consonant is y there isn't a particular word in sanskrit beginning with y however there is one pad which is the past perfect form of the verbal root mu this is what is presented over here sam plus yung ve and because y is a hal so m is substituted by an anuswara sam yung ve and then 8459 va padantasya applies and substitutes this anuswara by the nasal parasavarna that is here so you have sai yung ve then we have sam plus manyate ma at the end of a pad followed by another hal so this ma is then substituted by an anuswara after the application of 8323 we get sam manyate as the output and then 8459 applies and substitutes this anuswara by the nasal parasavarna of m which is sam so we have sam plus manyate optionally and then we also have sam manyate 
Similarly, we have sum plus gnavate as the input where ma appears at the end of a pada and so 8.3.23 applies and substitutes this ma appearing at the end of a pada by an anaswara. So we get sang plus navate as the output. Later on, this anaswara is substituted by the nasal parasavarana of ng which is ng itself and so we get the output sang plus navate. Then we have sam plus nakariyati and here also ma gets substituted by an anaswara by the application of 8.3.23 and so we have sam nakariyati and then this anaswara gets substituted by the nasal parasavarana by the sutra 8.4.59 and so we get the output in the form of san and nakariyati, san nakariyati. Finally, we have sam plus namati. So, ma is substituted by an anaswara by the application of 8.3.23 and so we get sam namati as the output and then by the application of 8.4.59 this anaswara is substituted by the nasal parasavarana which in this case is na. So, we have san and namati. Then we have sam plus jhashati and ma is substituted by an anaswara by the application of 8.3.23 and the output generated is sam plus jhashati and 8.4.59 applies over here and the output generated is sai plus jhashati and optionally also sam plus jhashati. Then we have sam plus bhinatti as the input and so this ma coming at the end of a pada is substituted by this anaswara by the application of 8.3.23 and so the output generated is sam bhinatti here 8.4.59 applies and substitutes this anaswara by the nasal parasavarana of bha which is ma so we have sam plus bhinatti this is optional form so we also get sum which is anuswara and binatti as an optional output. Then we have sum plus ghaghati, ma coming at the end of a pada followed by a consonant. So 8.3.23 applies and substitutes ma by an anaswara. So we get the output in the form of sum and ghaghati. This becomes an input for the application of 8.459 vapadantasya which then substitutes this anaswara by the nasal parasavarana of gha which is ng and so the output is sang plus ghagati. This is optional and so sam plus ghagati also is generated as the output of 8459. Then we have sam plus dhaukate. 8.3.23 applies and substitutes the anas substitutes ma by an anasbara sam and dhaukate. Now this becomes an input for 8.459 and that rule substitutes this anasvara by na which is the nasal parasavarana. So we get san dhaukate as the output. This is optional. So we also get sam and dhaukate as an optional output. Then we have sam plus dhavati and this ma at the end of a pada following by, followed by a consonant is substituted by the application of 8.3.23 by an anaswara sam and dhavati that is the output generated which becomes an input for 8.4.59 to apply and 8.4.59 substitutes this anaswara by the nasal parasavarana of dha that is na. So we have san dhavati. This is optional. So we get sam and dhavati. Similarly, we have sam plus jayati and the output generated is sam and jayati by the application of 8.3.23 and this becomes an input for 8.4.59 
and so this anuswara gets substituted by the nasal parasavarana of this j which is y sai jayati this is optional so we also get sam jayati as the optional output then we have sam plus badati and ma is substituted by an anuswara by the application of 8323 and the output generated is sam plus badati this becomes an input for 8459 which substitutes this anuswara by the nasal parasavarana of b which is ma so we have sam plus badati as the output of 8459 this is optional so optionally we also get sam plus badati then we have sam plus girati this sam has ma at the end of a pad followed by a consonant so 8323 applies and substitutes ma at the end of a pad by an anuswara so you have sam and girati now this becomes an input for 8459 to apply va padantasya and that substitutes this anuswara by the nasal parasavarana of g which is ng so we have the output sam plus girati and that is optional so we also get sam and girati as the output then we have sam plus damati and this m is substituted by an anuswara sam damati this becomes an input for va padantasya 8459 which substitutes this anuswara by the nasal parasavarana of d which is n so we have san damati as the output this is optional so optionally we also generate sam damati as the output next we have sam plus dishati and ma at the end of this pad followed by a hal is substituted by an anuswara so we have sam dishati generated as the output of 8323 this becomes an input for 8459 va padantasya and then 8459 substitutes this anuswara by the nasal parasavarana of d which is n and so we have san plus dishati as the output generated remember this is an optional output so optionally we also get sam and dishati dishati similarly we have sam plus khanati and the output generated is sam khanati where ma is substituted by an anuswara this becomes an input for 8459 and this anuswara is substituted by the nasal parasavarana of kh which is ng sam plus khanati but this is optional so optionally we also generate sam plus khanati as the output similarly sam plus phanati once again this ma is substituted by anuswara and so we get the output sam phanati this becomes an input for 8459 and the output generated is sam plus phanati optionally and so optionally we also get sam plus phanati similarly we have sam plus chinati and ma is substituted by an anuswara and the output generated is sam plus chinati this becomes an input for 8459 and so 8459 substitutes this anuswara by the nasal parasavarana of ch which is y so we get sai plus chinati as the output optionally and optionally we also derive sam plus chinati then we have sam plus thakati and ma is substituted by an anuswara by 8323 and this output is generated this becomes an input for 8459 and then this anuswara is substituted by the nasal parasavarana of th which is n so we have san thakati that is the optional output generated similarly sam plus tharvati is the input and ma is substituted by anuswara by 8323 and so this is the output generated which becomes an input for 8459 and so this anuswara is substituted by the nasal parasavarana of th which is n so we have san plus tharvati remember this is an optional derivation so we also have sam plus tharvati 
as the optional, optionally derived forms. Finally, we have some plus chinoti and this is an input 8323 applies and the output generated is some plus chinoti. This becomes an input for 8459 and the output generated is psi plus chinoti. Remember this is an optional output. So, sum plus chinoti is also generated as the optional output. Then we have sum plus tepate and this is an input 8323 applies and the output generated is sum plus tepate. This becomes an input for 8459 and the output generated is the nasal parasavarana of t which is n. So, we have san plus tepate and optionally we also have some plus tepate this particular as output. Then we have some plus tanoti and this input is processed by 8323 and the output generated is some plus tanoti. This becomes an input for 8459 and the output generated of this sum especially is the nasal parasabaran of the which is n. So, we have sun plus tanoti as the output. This is optional. So, optionally we also have the same over here sum plus tanoti. Then we have sum plus karoti and this becomes an input for 8323 and the output generated is sum plus karoti. This becomes an input for 8459 and the output generated is the parasavaran of k, nasal parasavaran of k which is ng sang karoti. And this is optional. So, we have the form sang karoti also. Then we have lastly sum plus pibati and this becomes an input for 8323 and the output generated is sum plus pibati this anuswara. This becomes an input for 8459 and the output generated is sum plus pibati which is the nasal parasavarana of p and the optional form will also be sum plus pibati. The examples that we looked at just now contained ma coming at the end of a pada which was always a preverb. Here are some other examples where ma comes at the end of a subanta and it becomes an anaswara. So, we have harim and vande where ma comes at the end of this subanta followed by a halva 8323 applies and we have anaswara substitution over here harim and vande and because this va comes in the pratyahara yai so then 8459 also will apply optionally and so they will and so this anuswara will be optionally substituted by the nasal parasavarana of v which is va. So, we have hariv one day and the optional generated output would be harim one day. Similarly, we have gramam gachami and this ma coming at the end of a subantapada then is substituted by an anuswara over here and this becomes an input for 8459 to apply and this anuswara gets substituted by the nasal parasavarana of g which is ng. So, we have gramam gachami, but this is optional. So, we also have gramam gachami. Similarly, yanam chalati is the input. Ma is substituted by an anaswara yanam chalati and then this becomes an input for 8459 and so this anaswara is substituted by the nasal parasavarana of ch which is ya. So, we have ya nai chalati. Then we also have shlokam tankate. Shlokam tankate. This is an input for 8323 and the output generated is shlokam tankate with an anaswara and 8323 has generated this output which becomes an input for 8459 and so this anaswara is substituted by the nasal parasavarana of t which is in a so shlokan tankate but this is optional and so the other optional form generated is shlokam tankate. 
that is the optionally generated output. The observation as far as the examples that we have studied so far is this. R does not have a nasal variety and hence Parasavarna will not substitute the Anasvara when R follows. This is clearly stated as far as the Vyakaran Mahabhashya is concerned and also with various formulations in the later Paninian grammatical tradition. H is also not part of Yai, so Parasavarna will not substitute the Anasvara when H follows. Now in this particular lecture, we have studied examples where ma comes at the end of a pada. There are some more examples where ma comes at the end of an internal pada and then of course ma and na coming in between the pada. This we shall study in the coming lecture. Thank you very much.